Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for advanced English learners. Ready? Let's get started. C1 English Story 70 Years A Queen Elizabeth II is Queen of the UK and 14 other Commonwealth realms. Named Elizabeth Alexandra Mary by her parents, the Duke and Duchess of York, she was born on April 21st, 1926. Her father acceded to the throne on the abdication of his brother, King Edward VIII making Elizabeth the heir presumptive. On her father's death, on February 6, 1952, she became the monarch. Queen Elizabeth II has ruled for longer than any other monarch in British history. She is a loved and respected figure around the world, known for her sense of duty and devotion to a life of service. She has been an important figurehead during times of change. The Queen sees public and voluntary service as one of the most important elements of her work. She has links to over 600 charities, military associations, professional bodies and public service organisations. On her 21st birthday, then Princess Elizabeth, she broadcast a speech on the radio, devoting her life to the service of the Commonwealth. I declare before you all that my whole life, be it long or short, shall be devoted to your service. Her life has certainly been long. She has reigned for 70 years. This year marks the Platinum Jubilee, and many celebrations are planned. In 1947, Elizabeth married Philip Mountbatten, a former Prince of Greece. When her father died, Elizabeth, then 25 years old, became monarch. At this time, she had two young children, Charles and Anne. After several years, the Queen and Prince Philip welcomed Andrew and Edward to complete their family. The first three months of the Queen's reign, the period of full mourning for her father, were passed in comparative seclusion. But in the summer, after she and her family had moved to Buckingham Palace, the Queen undertook routine duties of the Sovereign and carried out her first state opening of Parliament on the 4th of November, 1952. Her coronation was held at Westminster Abbey on the 2nd of June, 1953. Shortly after, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh made a six-month round-the-world tour of the Commonwealth including the first visit to Australia and New Zealand by a reigning British monarch. The Silver Jubilee marked 25 years of Queen Elizabeth's reign. It was celebrated with large-scale parties and parades throughout the UK and Commonwealth. Both major events held in big cities and small street parties in towns and villages were a resounding success. A quarter of a century later, in 2002, Elizabeth celebrated her 50th year on the throne. The festivities held a tinge of sadness after the death of her mother and sister earlier in the year. The Queen took the opportunity to personally thank her people for their support and loyalty. Numerous landmarks, parks and buildings were named in honour of the Golden Jubilee. 
medals, stamps and other memorabilia were issued. For the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, a special extended bank holiday weekend will provide an opportunity for people to unite to celebrate this historic milestone. It is the first time that a British monarch has given 70 years of service to their people. On June 2nd, 2022, the Trooping of the Colour event will take place. A royal gun salute will be fired. An impressive fly-past will coincide with the royal family's balcony appearance at Buckingham Palace. Beacons will be lit across towns, borders, countries and continents as a symbol of unity. The principal beacon will be lit in a special ceremony at Buckingham Palace. There will be a platinum party at the palace. The celebration will see famous faces from the world of entertainment brought together to perform for a night of musical tributes to celebrate the Jubilee. Also, the Platinum Jubilee pageant will serve as an opportunity to gather and pay tribute to Her Majesty. It will culminate with the singing of the national anthem, God Save the Queen. The Queen has shown a heartwarming way of remembering Prince Philip, who died a year ago at the Jubilee celebrations. She has used his signature walking stick at an official event recently, pointing it at photographers so it was seen. The unprecedented anniversary of celebrations, along with national moments of reflection on the Queen's astounding service, will be enjoyed by millions. Let's go through the vocabulary. A seed, to a seed, is to formally take a position of authority, especially as a king or queen. Comparative, comparative, judged in comparison to something, such as a previous situation or state. Landmark, landmark, a landmark is a building or place that is easily recognised. Rain. To reign. To reign is to be the king or queen of a country. Unite. To unite. To unite is to combine or to join together as a group. Sovereign. Sovereign is a king or a queen coincide. To coincide. If something coincides, it happens at or near the same place or time. Seclusion. Seclusion. Seclusion is a situation in which someone stays apart or is kept apart from other people. Air. Air. Note, we do not pronounce the H. Heir. An heir is someone who will receive money, property or a title when another person dies. Realm. Realm. A realm is a country ruled by a king or queen. Throne. Throne. A throne is a special chair for a king or queen. Tribute. Tribute. A tribute is something that you say, write, do or give that shows your respect and admiration for someone. Abdicate. To abdicate. If a king or queen abdicates, then he or she formally gives up their power and their throne. Unprecedented unprecedented. Unprecedented means never having happened or existed in this way in the past. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by. 
If you want to get productive with your language learning, check out our productivity packs on Etsy. You can find the link in the description box below. Use code YouTube10 for 10% off. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.